this is our last chapter where we'll be discussing about the cost of tooling and how you can recover those prices through your part and how to expect higher margin after certain numbers of production and that will be looking through the project and we'll look into that and here you can see there is the outline we'll be starting with the project where we'll be primarily amortizing the blank die cost into the piece price this amortizing is nothing but how to adjust or recover how to recover your typical tooling price into your piece price so that will look into uh, details and then we'll also estimating the tooling development time this tooling development time is important so what is the complete development time for that that will be estimating and based on that what is the expenses that also you are incurring that will look into and in our next project we'll be looking into the determining the tooling cost and the delivery time of the progressive time that also will uh, look into and your complete tooling buy up checklist and a new concept of the soft die development that also i'll just give an overview and we'll wrap up our complete chapter here so let us start with the amortizing the blank die and look into this particular project for better understanding let us start our project here and directly you can open the project and you can go to your chapter 5 and you can see the project tooling and that will be doing from scratch where we'll be configuring the tool definitions and the punch and die the complete simulations and its cost estimation as well so how to do that i'll be discussing so you can just uh, refer this particular project file which is there but i will show you from scratch so we can go to the start menu and you can go to a new forming analysis and here you have parts called the igs tooling and once you import this particular part you will be doing the basic operations which already i discussed like the generate the scheme just go for ok and this basically the thickness so from where you will be discussing from middle will be considering that so that already i have not discussed and here you can see these particular options because this is a pure skin or the surface model so you select either from the side which side that you can do or from the middle both both the side this is the best option and then we'll be defining our material and its thickness as well so i'll go for 2 mm is the thickness and the material is CRED DQ and you can see the properties here the density young's modulus poison ratio yield stress and the k factor as, as well and just go for ok and next you can go for the process setup and the mesh i'm just uh, going for two as the element size and expecting a be better mathematical resolution and here you can see this punch direction or you can directly go for this option and by default we'll go for the g direction and next this is basically the process where we'll be defining the forming process this is the draw or form that both you can select so we are going to form this and you solve this and you can see your forming part here and you can also check your results like the safety zone low strain the wrinkle tendencies and the thickness strain also you can see how the thickness during the forming the elongation percentage and also you can see the thickness variation so as you can see two and finally in these red areas we are achieving 1.746 and this blue areas we are getting this in between and these regions are within our allowable range to this band and here you can also see the report the HTML report and PowerPoint and workbook so if you go to the PowerPoint I'll show you that as well 
and just go to save and this PowerPoint will automatically pops up and it opens and here you can see the detailed property values and the area perimeter weight minimum x and y distance as well and the thickness minimum and maximum forming result and thickness 10 also minimum and maximum and maximum you can see this is the elongation percentage and this is the compression and safety zones plot and final form and next you can see also the punch force and safety areas the thickness 10 and finally one look sheet you can see and here also you can get the result in excel and you can just save it and here you can see the summary here and the forming results in the both the way you can get the result here and that you can document and next we'll go for next setup that is the blank definition and i'll go for this predefined shape and go for rectangle this and here also you can see the length and width and this basically typically rotated that you can check go for the next shape and go for nesting and here you can see one tool definition so you can finish nesting and then you can go for tool definition as well and let me go for 2 and 2 as the distance already we know and here you can see the utilization net weight part weight cross weight etc which you already saw and layout editing you can go for and you can finalize that as well and you can see the rotation here and finally you can go for the transfer or tangent type for the manual and you can finish that through the center of gravity origin coordinate alignment and define the process here you can assign that already you know and you can accept this once you accept this you can directly go for the line editing and if required you can change these factors otherwise you just assign this and you can go to regenerate all and here the processes are and finally you will be able to get the reports and these reports are related to the excel so first generate this so just i'm giving this idea another version earlier we already generated and next after this report we will be going for the powerpoint and this also will go for underscore one so that we will check both the underscore one report and go to save it will generate and here are the results diplan report total number of cams total number of part features number of operations die load and total die weight and here are the operations forming trimming and trimming which part you can see there is the active this green and here this is the active this green these two trims are there and the forming has been performed and this is the detailed plotting of that and here is the excel report for the die cost and here primarily our focus is to have this die life and this you can define and you can optimize also you can recover your part and after this you can have more profit and here you can directly see the calculations for those operations and here you can also see die cost included and or you can go for die cost excluded And the cost plot will be based on that and you can see the die load and number of features for that operations and based on that the report for all these successive operations where you can see the data and once you go to the process summary here you can see the total overall process which are involved like the operations and here the cost breakdown if you see the cost background here are those and here you can directly generate 
the hourly rate so if you want in our next project i'll be discussing but this is the same thing so here you can see the total hourly report if you go for the hourly report here you can see 315 hours and these are the total split of the hours for the forming trimming and trimming you can see and die construction hours feature length and you can see the hourly breakdowns based on the different operations and that can be based on the hourly basis or maybe the cost specific and inside the cost report you will get the split operations and the costing as well which is shown here as well this areas if you go for the cost based approach and like this you can have the brief and utilizations and all this uh, details report also you can get the die size etc and next uh, we'll be looking at our tooling and if you go to this here are the operations the corresponding but if you go to the blank definition what happens is here you can directly go to the tooling definition as well so this is basically the place where you have to start blank definition and when you go to the tooling definition here again the mesh will go for two as before and once you set that here you can see the defined tools and generate all if you go to generate all it will generate the die and punch here you can see die and punch and here are the different option so this is basically the option incremental and once under this incremental if you select you define the process which type of template you are going for so i will prefer in most of the cases detailed output the template i will prefer as detailed or you can go for if you have a thin thin part detailed thin part so it's better to go for detailed and final form and go for ok it will take some time for solving it once you go for solve here you will see the process and detailed development for forming and total stroke here you can see whatever the values will be listed here based on the complexity of this part the die and punch will be formed and cost estimation will be done so if you have multiple operations that tooling you can independently compute but this is the way how you solve and once it will take some time because this solving for the detailed step by step forming where you can see record here also how the details will be updated so it will take some time and that you can directly see here the complete progress and development so it will update also here after some time at initial computation it will show you the detail forming report it is still processing after two minutes also so i'll just uh, show you the any progress if is coming and you don't uh, worry it will take some five to ten minutes based on your system configuration and once the progress is ready here you can see only 29 percent so it will take some time because it will compute for all your tool and punch